Hello, this is Ken. I'm doing another card video, and today I'm going to show off where I keep my uh, binder for my sets and my PC collection. Now, uh, I've ordered some cards off of eBay. Nothing's came in yet in the mail, and I hadn't went out and bought anything. You know, it's getting warm here in Florida, so I had to do yard work. So I guess I'm taking a break. There is a card show I'll probably go to this coming Saturday. So I'll just show you what I got. This is uh, one of my shelves. And right up above it, uh, I have this photo of uh, Babe Ruth. Now this is not the original. This is a photo. Uh, this is a copy. They sold these at Dollar Tree about 30 some years ago. And I picked this up, and uh, I've held on it for so long, so I kept it. So it's displayed here. Uh, what I got is uh, my Babe Ruth uh, PC uh, display. So I got that photo. And then right here, uh, I got one of the Donruss puzzles. And uh, I got I got this in a tight corner, so that's why it's not full blown picture straight on. And then I got this uh, Babe Ruth. This is a photo album. I mean a card album. Uh, I got this like very long time ago, along with the puzzle. And then I got this card. I showed this on a video of Babe Ruth. This is a. Uh, uh, 2021 card and also showed this this is a uh, one in a Braves uniform and then I got these right here this is one of them what called sports casters cards uh, I need to get a one of the protective sleeves for it and it's just give me on the lighting I got this in a corner of my wall then uh, I got another card. And this is a great card to have. I really like I really like my Babe Ruth collections. All right, I'm gonna go down here. Okay, next is uh, this is my kind of like bobblehead uh, display, the baseball. Uh, I got this Logan Force. Uh, it's still in a box, and I'm planning on buying, like, one more bobblehead. And then I got the Pirates bobblehead. I bought that at a Goodwill. And it's uh, Domit, Duke, and Duffy, the 3Ds. And, you know, I bought a bunch of these. This is uh, the Mel Ingram. I got one display on my dresser, so these probably will not stay here long. And right here is my Cleveland Indians uh, PC. I got two of the logos. Now, as you know, the Indians are no longer the Indians, thanks to uh, cancel culture and all that crap. And uh, But I'm collecting them, so I got uh, two of the mascots. And then I got uh, Napoleon LaJoy, who was a uh, he was an Indian himself, played for the Indians. All right, uh, yeah, I got these photos. I'll go through them real quick. Uh, I got these at the North Carolina, uh, the North Carolina uh, Racing Museum. And Hall of Fame, not not the one they came out with in Charlotte, but this is the one before you get to Charlotte. So I got this one. Uh, this is Mike Chalotti Jr. And then I got Casey Mears. I got Jeff Green. I think I just dropped a card. Then I got Eric Amola. 
And I got a uh, Ty Dillon. Okay, then these are my uh, PC binders. PC binders. I got uh, I got a lot of autographs in these. Let me go up close. And this is actual autograph card of Jeff George. Hold on, man. I'm gonna try to get some more lighting over here. Okay, I'm back. There's the uh, Jeff George. This is my autograph PC for football. And I got some baseball, but I got all my autograph cards. This is my Steeler binder I've been working on since last year. Every page represents a different jersey number. And uh, I know Autograph 2000 uh, gave me a couple for that one. And then uh, I got the Boston Bruins. I just started this year. Uh, I got the, each page marked as a year, and I know uh, Julia Farnham, she uh, gave me a few cards for those. This is, uh, I got to renew th this binder. I got my food issue in there. This is my postcards. Uh, I will replace this one, but that's just something I got. Uh, this is a book. And I'll show you the book. This is Great Marquis. And then right here, I got my Dan Marino. And I got the Jose Canseco. Now, the idea I got to put these cards in here, I got them from Pepino Man. Because I seen how he did his sets. Okay, I'm going to go to the other side. So, just bear with me. All right, I'm back. Uh, this one is going to be used for my sets when I start on some more. But right now, I got these graded comic books. I showed them in a video back in, uh, I think, August. These are, I only got like four graded comics. These are my sets. I have, uh, and I need to turn that light around. That's my 1983 set I'm working on. Only need eight cards. No, nine cards to complete it, but I got two coming in the mail. That should be completed by probably April. Then I got the Fleer. Now, uh, I hadn't bought any, any of these. It's just, I just went through what I had for my 1989 Fleer. And, uh, that said, I'm taking my time on. This set is the uh, 1990 score. This one I got, and you can see how damaged it is. That will be replaced later, but I'll always like the way the binder look. That's basically for my uh, 1989 cards that are in there, the pro set. This, I'm going to show you real quick. This is my World Wrestling set. The WWF Federation, before they changed your name. And let's show you real quick. Uh, it has my name on it. Uh, by Dansbury. And uh, I'm just going to show you a few real quick. You can see how they look like. There is a... Uh, like... Lita... The Fabulous Moolah, Jerry Lawyer, and Shawn Michaels. No, I got 50 of those, and I got some other wrestling in the back. All right, next, uh, you know, growing up in Virginia, you can always find a uh, risky and stuff. And I accumulated a lot. You know, now they changed their name. Thanks again to Cancel Culture. And I'll show you what I have. Uh, this is Sage Rosenfeld. I like the way that logo looks. Uh, Darren McCant. Uh, Brad Johnson. And that's the Joe Seisman. And I got a magnet. 
Uh, there's a pen. And this is uh, Gerald Riggs starting line up. A Kelvin Bryant starting line up. I think it is. Let me look real quick. Yep, that was the Kelvin Bryant. And then right here, I got the Art Monk. And this is a troll bobblehead. That's something you don't see a lot of. And then uh, I got a pennant. And that's an authentic ticket. Uh, when the Redskins played the Giants, it was a Giants home game ticket. But I got that ticket real cheap. Now I'm going to show you what's on top. Now, what's on top? I got some random stuff. Now, these, and uh, they're dusty too. Let me watch the dust off. All right, right here, I got the Los Angeles Raiders the team that's no longer around. They're with the Vegas. Then the St. Louis Rams, they're now the LA Rams again. San Diego Chargers, who is the L.A. Chargers. Tennessee Oilers, who is now Tennessee Titans. That is the old school Bengals helmet. That's what the Bengals helmet used to look like before they added the stripes. That helmet existed in the late 60s to 70s. Then I got the inaugural Orlando Magic ticket. Now, this wasn't a ticket, but this was just like a, a keepsake that people got and I only paid five dollars for this and it came with the case too i also got a, a brooklyn nets versus uh the wizards uh that's the authentic ticket and i got a uh, stiller glass uh, i picked this thing up you used to have a base that lighted up but i used to coach basketball i coached my kids most of my kids basketball team then i got uh the media guy to the steelers and uh that's it so uh make sure to like and describe my video and thank you for watching